переключиться там. Как оно переключится между режимами? Okay, timers of uh, TCP timers. The topic it's uh, TCP timers. Okay, the first it's a uh, uh, retransmission timeout. Transmission time. As you know, when we uh, send any segment, when we send any segment, uh, we turn on this timer. And if we uh, didn't receive any acknowledgement, uh, segment one if we didn't receive any acknowledgement we repeat our retransmission we repeat it's a second attempt mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, if we uh, receive Acknowledgement early when early when we send uh, if we receive acknowledgement when we uh, when this timer expire we just stop them yeah we just stop them and immediately can send uh, follow segment. And the question is about uh, duration of virtual timer. How long it should be? How long it should be? Because because problem is uh, of distribution delays even network. Yeah. Uh, for example, if we consider uh, this uh, retransmission timeout for Link level system, yeah, it uh, can be predict what is the uh, uh, probability density function. Probability density function uh, has a some uh, some mean, some and this mean has a, a high peaks in the probability. Yeah, for example, like this one, it look like this one. This is a time of uh, delays, yeah, and let's suppose what is a 10 millisecond, 20 millisecond, 30, 40, 50, yeah, and here it's uh, easy uh, to choose where the transmission timeout, like this one, and we can say what's uh, the most in the most cases our delays no more than this value yeah but it's a for link link level like a wi-fi like a mobile network when we just to uh, host to the host transmission but for the net network transmission this task it's a little bit harder because this distribution uh, very very smooth, I guess. 
Okay, and it looks like a, this one. Okay. And so if we choose the same value like uh, in previous case, yeah, it's uh, if we choose the same value like in previous case, we see what is a sometimes we uh, we will send uh, another we will try another attempt before the acknowledgement we will receive. Yeah, if we use C1. Yeah. If we use, uh, for example, C2, it's a problem with performance. We will get problem with performance. It's a uh, low, low performance. And this one, how say, Лишние повторные передачи, лишние. It's a redundancy retransmission, I guess. Mm -hmm. Redundant. Done. How spelling? How? How spell? Redundant. C. This is redundant retransmission. Hmm. What? How? Oh, what's the last redundant C? Redundant. Yeah, redundant. Redundant. With you? With you done. Okay. Oh, it's a T. Okay. And so it's a, a link level. It's a network case. And so for the network case, uh, this timer. Should be something like dynamic. This trainer should be that all should be dynamic. Because situation very dependent from uh, overload and network, but overload happened in some times and uh, network can be free in the next period of time, etc. Yeah. And uh, the first algorithm was proposed by the Jackson. Yeah, sorry, not Jackson, Jackson, <laughs> Jacobson. It's a uh, Uh, this algorithm uh, used in TCP, uh, provided by algorithm, and it looks like uh, uh, what for every. Uh, connection in CCP, we use some parameters. It has a name, SR, TC, it's uh, smoothed. Round, round trip, smoothed round trip time. По-русски усредненная круговая задержка. Smooth round trip time. Uh, inside these parameters, we save the best uh, uh, 
the best time for receiving of acknowledgement. Yeah, it's like a delay for when we send our segment and receive acknowledgement. Yeah, it's the best time. And when we uh, start our transmission, we turn on this timer. Uh, and this timer measure the time uh, till we receive acknowledgement. Till we receive acknowledgement. And if uh, acknowledgement uh, will not receive, we try to send uh, an, uh, this, uh, we try to send uh, a retransmission. Yeah, but if we receive uh, our acknowledgement early when RTT timer expires, we uh, should uh, we should update this timer. We should update this timer. Yeah, and here's uh, the formula for S smoothed round trip time. It's look like a. Some parameters alpha SRTT plus one. Как как улучшается задержка? R it's a uh, current delay, or maybe when we, uh, R. It's a when it's a time when what we measured. Yeah, we send segment and receive acknowledgement, and we measure this time. And this is a R. How how is how is name? То есть время для получения подтверждения. Time. Time to receive. Измеренный, давайте так. Не просто time, а. Да, на то, что мы его измерим. Okay. Please, Ali. Time for current transmission. Current cycle. Yeah, time. Okay, measurement time. Time and uh, transmission and acknowledgement received. Okay, it measures time for acknowledgement. Time for current current acknowledgement delay. Alpha, it's a uh, Weight coefficient, weight coefficient. Uh, it's the term how fast we uh, forget the previous value. Alpha is a uh, weight coefficient. It determine how fast we uh, forget previous value. Uh, usually, <laughs> usually alpha it's uh, Seven, eight. But if we uh, take this value, uh, if we take this value bigger, it's mean. What's the? Uh, we uh, forget previous value faster. Yeah, and this formula, it's uh, expon exponentially weighted moving average. It's uh, так определили. Ну потому что это вот ближе к единице. Ну мы можем не зашит, это вы выбирать можете этот коэффициент. Выбирать. 
the this formula work like a uh, low pass filter for uh, delay time. In a uh, in first realization of TCP, SFT was doubled round trip time. Doubled round trip time. But uh, with the constant uh, multiplication uh, can be result of a bad performance of a network because it uh, doesn't uh, don't it doesn't take to account the situation in the network. Yeah, and if we try to model and usually in the model user traffic uh, for user traffic we use uh, Poisson distribution. Yeah. And uh, due to tales of this Poisson distribution, we see what the out armor can expire early when we receive uh, acknowledgement. Yeah. Uh, so as a result, uh, as a result, it's going to look what uh, our previous attempts still in the network but our timer expired and we sent next attempt of this next copy of this signal yeah. and um, it's very bad and uh, Jacobs, uh, Jack, Jacobson, uh, Jacobson uh, suppose uh, uh, to take this time uh, I'll say uh, I mean, our parameter should be changed if round trip time in our network changed too. Yeah, and should be dynamic due to uh, round trip time. And so it uh, introduce next parameters. It's a RTC bar. Round trip time variation. А с какой занятий сегодня? Не отмечается лекция, нет? Round trip 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 variation and some RTC so some coefficient B and RTC bar what we measured in uh, previous attempt. Hmm? Да, то есть uh, это время uh, чтобы сделать нашу повторную передачу чувствительной э, к изменению круговой задержки. То есть если у нас круговая задержка изменяется, то мы должны изменить наш параметр. Uh, just, just we need another formula, and you, you will see when we, when we use, when we use this parameter. We use it in uh, in the retransmission. We use it in the transmission timeout in RTO.
as a previous case, this formula it's uh, exponentially weighted moving average, and usually coefficient b is three thirty. А у нас у нас не может быть, кстати говоря, больше единицы ни альфа ни бета. And due to this uh, parameters, our pre-transmission timeout choose based on SRTT smooth round trip time plus or multiply round trip time variation. But about this multiplication, you can choose uh, some other parameters. Yeah. And we see what is uh, in this case. Uh, it's uh, RTT. Uh, it's uh, RTT var. It's uh, not a standard deviation. It's uh, uh, how say it's not standard it's an average deviation it's an average de deviation but usually standard deviation and average deviation on the practice uh way placed very close to each other Uh, of course, it's uh, just uh, some algorithm that was proposed in previous years in the, I guess, around actually when Jakobson proposed this algorithm, I guess it's uh, something around round three, uh, round timeout, round retransmission timeout. Yeah, retransmission timeout. timeout. Actually, Jacobson proposed this algorithm in this year. Okay, and uh, we have uh, another type of misunderstanding in network let's suppose what we uh, what we get acknowledgement when when our timer was expired And here we receive an acknowledgement, but we don't understand is it acknowledgement of the first attempt or the second? Yeah. Because if we suppose uh, what this acknowledgement from uh, second attempt, our estimation of RTO will be very, very low. Yeah. But if it from segment two, it should be, it should be bigger. Yeah. And uh, this problem uh, was investigated by the field card. Phil card, when he tried to send IP packet through the radio links, through the radio links. Yeah. And so 
uh, web problem uh, has an algorithm what was proposed has a name Karn. Karn's algorithm. And it's very, very easy. It's uh, uh, current propose do not update the estimation of delay for the uh, repeat uh, second attempt. Do not update estimation for the second attempt. Yeah, when we use second, we just uh, use for RTO previous previous measure. Just try to write something. Don't update. RTO for uh, retransmissions. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, second, it's um, for every uh, for every retransmission. We double RTO. We double RTO till our packet uh, was sent by the first attempt. We, we, for every transmission, we double RTO. RTO, and uh, after that, we uh, try to find some RTO when. Ну, по-русски, то есть мы для каждой повторной передачи удваиваем время ожидания до тех пор, пока у нас пакеты не начнут отправляться с первой попытки. Вообще никакой? Но это же, ну то есть, если так, то у нас тогда как бы и окно уже не придет, так ведь? Потому что не, не на что отправлять окно уже, так ведь? То есть вот вы отправили, отправили сигнал, да, он туда не дошел, так окно уже не отправляется, он ждет. А? Подождал, отправил вторую попытку. А, опять же, говорит, что он отправляется, да? Ну, он так, ну там какой-то предел разумный должен быть. И вторая там два будет. То есть он будет пытаться до какого-то предела, пока не дойдет окно уже на Надо это зарисовать, нет? Как, как у Карна алгоритм. Ну и что? не обновляем после. Давайте зарисуем. Здесь вот так вот, чтобы RTO у меня было видно. Let's pause what's the... Let's end first. Segment one. Attempt one. Okay. And our RTO. Our to always value, so we didn't receive. We didn't receive acknowledgement till RTO. Okay, no.
Не знаю, неважно на кого. Не, не знаю на кого подтверждение. Неважно. Какое подтверждение? Ну, я не знаю, мы можем даже, я мог не вот так нарисовать, а вообще вот так нарисовать. Ну, не знаю, какой Нет, так. Оно приходит. Ну, скажем, что оно приходит, успевает дойти. До второго? Он продолжает читать? Нет, вот так оно пришло. Здесь, раньше, да? да, раньше. Да, раньше. Вот здесь смысл в том, что мы следующее RTO. We dub, he use double RTO. Double RTO. Double RTO. А нам мы не понимаем это здесь проще. Мы просто увеличиваем все и ждем, что вот сюда придет. Это подождите еще. Подписывать сегмент. Сложнее начитать. Здесь просто пока проще. Дабл тортило. Okay, and TCP, we have a, uh, another kind of timer, like a pers persistence timer, timer настойчивости. Persistence timer. Let's suppose what is a our receiver. Our receiver sent acknowledgement, but with window size. Win zero. Yeah, so we we do, we doesn't send anything. And let's suppose what is uh, after some time our receiver send acknowledgement via update value of window. But we lose this updation. We lose this updation. Here we lose. We do, don't receive. How should be? How uh, how long our transceivers should wait? Yeah. How wait? Yeah. And we use uh, something like uh, this. Uh, Persistence persistence timer and after this persistence timer uh, we send to receiver some uh, message uh, about size of window. In size, size of window, and as a result, our receiver sent current window size, current window size. And so after that we can send some segment. Uh, 
Да, да, то есть, это, если, ну, то есть ситуация, когда у нас буфер переполнен, нам поставили Windows Size 0. Мы все ждем, пока нам не, не разрешат еще раз отправить. Нам разрешают, но это сообщение не дошло. Да, мы все ждем. А, а, как, дол а как долго нам надо это ждать? Мы поэтому запускаем таймер на стойчую передачу. Да? Уточняем, не изменилось ли? Как вы не освободились? Зачем же? Так же. Мы еще не освободились. And next timer it's uh, keeping alive. Keep alive timer. Это как ты не спишь? Keep a life timer. Uh -huh. At, uh, if we don't use connection till some time yeah we just uh, send some some uh, request yeah and if we doesn't receive any acknowledgement any acknowledgement we uh, close this connection we close to this connection And we use uh, this timer when in the state machine, in the uh, when we time when we time wait. Yeah, what slide is this? The initial time. In the time wait stage. Okay, this is uh, all about timers. And now we go to the next topic. It's uh, conjection control. If we don't get anything too long, we don't get anything too long. We don't get anything too long. We don't get anything too long. We don't get Наш сервер находится в состоянии wait. Да, и вот мы ничего не получаем. То есть отправили ему окно, а он ничего не посылает. Мы ждем. А, посылаем запрос, типа, ты там жив? Если ничего не приходит, мы все говорим, что соединение закрыто. But usually, usually it can uh, work wrong for the some application would have a long retransmission. Not, not, not the long retransmission, we have a long period between segments yeah like a, what like just suppose uh, remote terminal yeah we have a TCP connection but our user just wait just think about and don't send any data yeah and if a server try to send keep alive yeah but we don't receive it keep alive it closed but our, our users still use this connection so, so it's some some case of redundant clauses, but was uh, introduced to CCP too. Okay, the next topic it's a conjection control. It's uh, how we can uh, adapt to the overloads. How we can adapt to overload. If we send uh, to the network more data when a network can process due to limited uh, buffers, 
Yeah. Uh, so it have some our packets um, meet with delays. Yeah. And uh, it doesn't matter. Old network with a uh, low bitrate channel or with uh, low performance routers or modern network we have a high rate channels and high rate pro processors any case our processing time grow up and our uh, link level bitrate grow up too yeah in any case we have uh, this kind of problem uh, and we should uh, and we shouldn't uh, overload our network we should send so many data how our network can process. Uh, and the main, uh, the main idea, yeah, how we can, but uh, we should not overload, but we should use uh, maximum performance of a network before overloads, yeah. And uh, here we uh, try to explain how we find the maximum performance of the law for or performance of a not network yeah and uh, usually the transport layer protocol uh, use uh, some algorithm that has a name additive increase multiplicative decrease yeah. increase and multiplicative decrease because a part of additive увеличение multiplicative уменьшение Uh, overload uh, control we use with uh, control to handle with uh, uh, window size with a window with a window yeah and signal of overload signal it's uh, when we lose overload signal signal when we drop drop the packets Uh, this algorithm was introduced by the uh, uh, by the one Jacobson too, yeah, uh, because in the last years of uh, 80s uh, in the internet we met some situation when we have a drops due to overloading, yeah, and we have a uh, something like a Conjection collapse. Yeah, when performance of networks uh, can decrease up to 100, 100 times. Yeah, due to only of overloads. And they propose some 
where Jacobson and others propose some decision. Yeah. Uh, first of all, when we investigate the network, we suppose what is uh, uh, the drops of packets. It's a useful signal for overloading to detect of overloads. If we drop the packets, it means what we because usually uh, in the wired networks uh, we have a low level drops due to link levels errors. It's a for wireless. It's I'm agree. Yeah, for mobile or Wi-Fi, usually packets can drop in a link level. But for global internet, uh, the main reason it's overloading. The main reason it's overloading. Yeah. Okay, uh, we say it. What's the main signal? It's when we drop. Because if uh, our rotors, its buffer of in our rotors is full, our rotors just remove this packet. Yeah, ju just remove this packet. It's it's the same for for modern rotors. We use the same approach. But uh, any case, uh, okay, we can detect the overloads, but how we can control the current situation? Okay. Because usually the roads when our data transmit can change, yeah, and sometimes if we consider uh, some channel uh, for example uh, some it's a host one this is a router and here's a two uh Two kinds of links. It's a host A, host B, and this one it's a fast line, and this is a slow line. Or how uh, how we can say, but button check. Mm -hmm. In the first line, we can send our packets very fast. Okay. And here's the size of the packets. It's the term like a uh, and the term like um, bitrate of this line. Yeah. But for the slow line, we need more time. We need here's a four packets, and here's a two packets in the buffer, two packets in the buffer. But any case, any case, our acknowledgement uh, was sending by the this uh, speed when we receive this packet. Yeah. And so our acknowledgement, okay, let's suppose this is a this is a acknowledgement. Yeah, and it doesn't matter how fast this line. Here's a uh, delay between acknowledgement will the same like a 
in the slow line in the same like a uh, in slow line okay what we see here uh some portion of packets sending by this line will be in the in the fast line yeah here's uh, for the slow line some portion of packets uh, still in the buffer in the queue queue over router yeah and very slow sending by this line yeah. And here in, uh, and, uh, in the transmitter side, uh, the speed of acknowledgement equal to the speed when we receive data uh, in the slow line. And so it means what is uh, by the, this time between acknowledgement, we, we can determine uh, the delay for some uh, for the lowest line in our uh, in our connection by the uh, delays between acknowledgement we can estimate the slow slowest segment of a line okay we can estimate the slowest segment of a line and so it's mean if we uh, do not uh, don't want to make uh, overloads in the network, we should send our data with this velocity, with this velocity. Okay. So, and if we uh, send data by this delays, uh, here this buffer will be empty. And every data can send to this low line directly without any queue. Okay, do you get idea? Ну да, но мне либо меньше, либо реже, либо меньше. То есть, не то есть здесь на русском, да, то есть мы то есть отправляем быстро, да, отправляем быстро. Здесь медленная линия, да. Здесь данные приходят, несмотря на это, медленнее. Да? То есть вот они пришли, мы отправили окнолочную. А из того, что здесь как бы заток, здесь пробка у нас. Да? Поэтому наша идея отправляет так. Ну, то есть, соответственно, здесь окнолочные придут с тем же самым временем. Да? Поэтому нам лучше отправлять данные вот как бы вот с этой скоростью, чтобы здесь не было затора. So we said... We try to send our data to be this betrayed when this one. Okay? But of course, uh, uh, real connections are very hard to understand. We, can, we cannot esti estimate directly. Here's a gigabit, is a fast, here's a, some slow line, a DCA line. But how we can estimate? Only by the acknowledgement rate. And the acknowledgement rate equal to the uh, performance of the slowest line. Of the, slow, of the slowest line. Okay. So this is a, has a name. Acknowledgement clock. Acknowledgement clock. Uh, based on these parameters, we can handle the overloads. And our problem uh, was uh, in the high bitrate network to get the uh, the best performance we need uh, for the high bitrate network. If we estimate only by this uh, value, uh, we need very uh, five number of iteration. Yeah, five number iteration. For example, yeah, let's suppose. Uh, let's suppose uh, what is uh, uh, our road 
can send data with a bitrate 10 megabits per second. And Ten megabits per second and round trip time one hundred milli one hundred milliseconds. Hmm. Uh, let's suppose for the first case what we update uh, what we update window size equal to one packet and the packet size okay ju ju just a moment Uh, conjection window, uh, usually CVD, it's a uh, multiplication. Uh, conjection window, it's a multiplication of, uh, of a bitrate and RTT. And RTT, and here's a uh, one megabit or or 100 packets packets with a size one thousand. 250 bytes. Let's suppose what's the our window window equal one packet, and we can uh, and we can increment this value. If uh, uh, we suppose what's in the first case, our window equal just one packet, and we update our window in like a win, previous win plus one. One packet, yeah. And uh, this example mean what is a uh, uh, we can get the maximum performance. Uh, we can get the maximum performance only after after. Uh, Maximum only after time equal hundred round trip time. After this time, so it's equal. 10 seconds, uh, 10 seconds, and this value very big. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, how we can solve? Let's try to make of this window, like, a, let's suppose what's this window, we can start, for example, with uh, 50 packets. Yeah, but 
in this case we can get overload because we don't know we don't know the lowest rate actually we don't know some information but our task to get the best performance how uh, how fast is possible how fast is possible how fast it's possible and it's look uh, it has a name uh, slow start has a name slow And it look like uh, when we every time multiply number of our packets. Here's a conjunction window. It's one. This is uh, some data with conjunction window. Here we receive acknowledgement yeah and this is round trip time yeah round trip time and so we can send immediately two segments of a data two segments of a data and so And for every segment, we send acknowledgement. Mm -hmm. Here's a one RTT, one RTT, one packet. Here's a one. RCC two packets. Here's a TV conjunction window. It's a true. So um, This is a should be next. Ah, okay. Here, here it's a seven D three. Here, seven D four. It should be free. Oh no. Just just wait.
here should be here should be four here should be four and one RTT four packets etc yeah and one RTT four packets and etc till we get the overloads till we get the overloads Mm -hmm. You see what is a uh, this uh, slow start? Uh, this is a uh, slow start. Actually, it has a name slow, but it uh, has a uh, exponential low. Yeah, and very fast we get the maximum. In, and very fast uh, we uh, we get the maximum. Sorry. <coughs> Just a moment. No, it's not a problem. Uh, it's not a problem. It's uh, just okay. Let's let's look to some graphs. It's a for control of overloads. Maybe in my in my slide, I try to find some examples. Вот это как раз вот штука. Постепенно Да, постепенно разгоняемся до перегрузки. А потом не на один шаг, мы потом сильнее откатываемся, откатываемся сильнее. Это непонятный будет график. It usually look like
try to and he's uh It's a number of RTT. Number of RTT is a zero. This one. One, two, two, four. Sorry, one, two, three, four, six. Seven. Let's support. And he's a. Uh, Conjection window. Conjection window in the number of packets, number. Of packets. OK, let's suppose what is. A, this is a five. Then fifteen, twenty, twenty five, thirty, and such on. Okay, in the first, we send one, just one packet. Yeah. And we receive one packet here. Uh, we send two packets. It should be a little. No, here we can send one. Here we can send two. Uh, here we can send four. Four packets. Yeah. In the third uh, attempt, we can uh, send how many? If you attempt, no, it should be three, four, it can be eight, eight, and with step four, we go till sixteen, I guess. Step four. This look like an entire conjection. Махнулся так. Еще раз. На, на третьем столько. На третьем столько. На четвертом. Столько. И от пятого на шестом. And here we get some threshold. Some threshold and it's a slow start. Slow start. 
This means what's every time we uh, doubled we double our window size, but here we can match. I should was too green. Not no, da, no, 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 Let's continue on now. Okay, this is just we can see the flow start and here's a how we can estimate when we spread all when we our update out window size little bit slower little bit slow actually this is a multiplicative case yeah additive increasing multiplicative how how we say it? Yeah, no, 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 it's no, it's, a, it's not a more. It's, yeah, it's a just a stage of slow. It's a, a slow start, and here we just, I mean, in the first steps, we try to um, size more faster, mm -hmm. and after some threshold, we make it a little bit slower. Okay, okay, that's all.